Hi kids, I am so glad that I can be with you this morning. I've got a great book to share with you and I'm really excited to be able to tell the story. Pastor Neil and I are going to share this book, Does God Know How to Tie Shoes? Have you ever thought about that? Can God do that? But Neil's not here yet. Let me see. He told me he'd be here. Let me just give him a call a minute. Okay, hopefully he answers. Hmm. Hello? Neil, you said you'd be here this morning to share this book, remember? Does God know how to tie shoes? Remember? Yeah, now I remember. And, and that's one of my favorite books because the Psalms are, are, are being used to explain who God is. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just show up through the transporter that I have. Okay, I hope it works. I'm going to start. Does God know how to tie shoes? Katrina asks, Mama, what does God wear? I don't know, Katrina, but he dresses the hills with joy and the meadows with sheep and the flowers never have to worry about what to put on. I think God wears orange beads when the sun comes up and a big gray hat when it rains. Does God know how to tie shoes, Papa? By his word, the heavens and the earth were made and he breathed the stars and he breathed and the stars took their place. Then God must know how to tie shoes. Mama, how does God talk? Oh, sometimes he whispers in a still, small voice, like when you hold a seashell to your ear. And sometimes he roars over the water and his glory thunders. Like a lion, Mama? Yes, a great, kind lion. Does God have wings, Papa? God wraps his love around us like the wings of a mother hen protecting her baby chicks. And he knows how all the birds fly. So God probably loves crows too. Hmm, Mama, does God get cold and hungry? Well, he feels sad when people are cold and hungry. God must shiver when he sees old Joe in his torn coat. When it snows, I will give him my mittens. Does God ever cry, Papa? Yes, I think he does. Because of the cold, hungry people? Yes, and when people can't live together without fighting too. And when Thomas pulls Sarah's hair, it's so long she could sit on it. Mama, does God have any pets? The animals and the birds of the forest are his and every cow on a thousand hills. Maybe God would like us to get a puppy. Does God ever sing, Papa? Probably. He rejoices with the fields and sings with the trees while the rivers clap. I think I see God riding on the cloud. That makes me sing. Mama, is God sad when he doesn't get a letter? God does like to hear from us, Katrina. We call that prayer. It can be a way of talking or singing or playing my drum. Does God like to paint, Papa? He paints the sunrise and the sunset and spreads out the heavens like a cloth. I bet he likes painting rainbows best of all, just like me. Mama, does God ever have to clean up his room? He wakes the dawn and he makes sure the seasons change. Yes, he keeps everything in order. But even in his closet? Does God go to sleep, Papa? No, Katrina, God never sleeps. But doesn't he ever get tired? Well, he did rest after making this world. But Mama, where in the world is God now? God is here when we talk together. He's with you when you feel happy and when you feel sad. And scared too, yes. When you are scared, he is there. God is always with you. Papa, does God know my name? Oh yes, and the stars in the heavens as well. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Good night, God. I'm Katrina, with a K. That's the end of our story. And this week, it would be really great if you could just think about 
That question, does God know how to tie shoes? Can he do all these things that Katrina asks? What is God really like? And how do you imagine God to be? Think about that this week. Hold me, Jesus. Hold me, Jesus. When I'm, I'm too tired to walk Or need to have a talk Hold me, Jesus Hold me, Jesus Safe in your love I'll be If you hold me The Lord be with you The Lord be with you